Hello mga kaguro, mga bata. Ako si Teacher Roy Mulanda. Are you alright? Yes, alright. Today class, we are now in Science for Quarter 3. Lesson 4, explain the effect of changing the amount of force applied to an object. Our objectives, explain the effect of changing the amount of force applied to an object. Second, infer the effect of changing the amount of applied to an object. And last, perform activities that show the effects of changing the amount of force applied to an object. As you perform your daily activities, your action has corresponding effects to you and to the object that you are interesting with. Such activity requires you to exert greater or lesser force depending on the kind and weight of object in order to see its effect. Thus, the applied force causes these objects to change their sizes, shapes, and movement. Here are some ways to explain further the effects of changing the amount of force applied to an object. A. Effects of the size and shape of objects. That amount of force you will be exerting to an object by means of posing, pulling, compressing, bending, cutting, tearing, pounding, scratching, or squeezing may change its size such as square, circle, oblong, rectangle, and triangle, as well as its original sizes form small to medium, large to extra large, tall to taller, and long to longer, and vice versa. Some object may damage or may totally deform depending on the amount force is applied. For instance, a van may deform upon accidentally colliding to a motorcycle causing changes in its original size and shape. Similarly, pounding a flower base with a lesser force cause it to slightly crack but with a greater force may break it into small pieces. Likewise, very low toothpaste may come out upon squeezing the tube with gently rather than strongly. On the other hand, forces applied through cutting or tearing depends on your preferred sizes and shapes to see its effects on papers and plastics. B. Effects on the movements of objects. Upon moving an object on its stationary position, its effects may vary depending on the amount of force you will be exerting causing it to step. Some down speed up or change in direction. For instance, it would be easier to move a heavy object with companion rather than moving it alone. Likewise, pedaling a bicycle faster may increase its speed while pedaling slowly decreases its speed. In a volleyball game, the force exerted by other person may change its speed and direction as well as a cricket ball in a baseball game. More so, in a tag of war game, equal strength is possible on both sides resulting to a balance forces while unequal strength causing 
at Valant Courses. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share my YouTube channel, Roy Mulanda. Are you alright? Yes, alright. Bye. See you.